Yes! Score! Now I bet we're in for some hurting, because doing this is not our own. Ain't gonna be fun. Oh, flower bandage at least. Fishing threads. Right. Really? I. Is she gonna do this? This is gonna suck. Yeah. So. Yep, let's clean it first. And don't scream. Yep. Yep. Now the fun part. Really? No. Nothing to jump in the pain with. Nothing. No. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. Oh. So she has been taught at least. Oh god. Uh, oh. Holy shit. Can you just get it over with please? Ha! Ah. Stitch and oh. Holy shit, she's a strong girl. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually can starts feeling sick because of this scene. This is pretty nasty. Yep, yep. And okay, fourth time then. Oh, 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 did I? I thought I effed up there, but... Seems like she actually did it. Now, perhaps we should clean it one more time. Can I? Good enough. All right, I would do some more of that. No, right, you drop the bottle. All right. <gasps> Whoopsie! No, 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 no! Get the fuck out of here! Get the... No! Break! In your face! No! Okay, in your on your hand. On your hand! Cute. And get off me. Uh can I do anything? Come on! In your face! Yeah! Get that and Someone help! Someone help! Please get him out of here! Oh right, the anchor! Oh, that's. That's always good. 
Oh, wait. A hammer again. Always a good start. Hello. It's like deja vu all over again from season one, first episode. Still not bit. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. I just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. You left me no choice. You could have just left. <sighs> Relax, Rebecca. We're all trying to survive here. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Yep. Oh. Whoo! Hey, Chris. This might hurt a little. <laughs> I think she can handle it. She's proven. How she look? You know. Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Yeah. Clementine. Kicking ass. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. Oh, I asked for her help. So She's not gross. someone you can just ask for help. Daughter. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there... Wait, has she... She would has... cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. Does she keep... Does he keep her locked up? I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. I wonder if he keeps her locked up in there with all her books so she doesn't know what's happening outside. That's crazy. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Please. Last time I tried eating, a dog tried to eat me. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Yeah. Better than losing it. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. What's your problem, Trigger Happy? I'm gonna call him Happy. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad I experience. Bet we've once. all had a bad experience. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> We've all had bad experiences. Yep. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. 
Anyway, hopefully you understand. I don't hold it against them, but things happen to everyone. Yeah, I do. I guess. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I wonder how long this group has been together. I mean, they seem pretty stable. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're to welcome going. to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. You sure? Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. That's a nice thought. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Does it matter? I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? Okay, then. Same thing that happens to everyone. The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. He was the best. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner. Mm. Ah, yeah. so that's how they keep food on the table. Fishing. Should have noticed everything. The sign upstairs and everything. You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Let's just stay quiet. Nothing to say? You got what you needed. I don't want to fight. You got what you came here for. Now go. Jeez. Overly protective, maybe? How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She doesn't scare me. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. <laughs> she was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. 
Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me, and of course the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Something wrong with the traps. Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. What happened here? Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet. But it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Seems the group isn't so stable. Check those stable, guys there. Then. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. <sighs> okay. I have to talk to Pete. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. All right. They're awfully quick to actually trust Clementine and actually give her some responsibility. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. <laughs> Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now. Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. Keep calm, no, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. Waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. <laughs> Look, just keep your head on straight. <laughs> Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. Nope. Oh, no. Good.
damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Let's see. There's one over there, and there's two over here. A woman. Is it? <coughs> what happened to you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Let's give him water and hopefully that will give him energy enough to actually answer my goddamn question. Where's Krista? <coughs> Don't tell me he got Pete! Me. I'm fine! I'm fine! Just just lost my footing! Damn it! God no, damn it. you didn't just lose your footing. I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Sorry! <laughs> Sorry, but... You got shot, mister! No, I didn't mean shot. You. You got bit. You got hurt. Me. No. We have to go. Could have saved him. What? I don't have a gun. How can you just leave him? You have the. Ah. Oh. gonna do <laughs> Someone's outside Someone came here looking for you a man What did he say what his name was We know damn well who it was Who is he One of the guys we were with before What's he gonna do Can't keep going. I figure we got about four to five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. Yes, that might be the come on. Krista? I thought you were dead. Hmm. I suppose we're meant to think it's Krista. Perhaps there's some, someone else. Save Krista. You and 93.6% of players stop to help Krista. Of course. The dog. You and 81.8% of players kill the dog. You... Oh, you, you can just... Right, you can just leave there. But I mean, that would have been pretty mean. Friendly to Sarah. You and 18.8% .8 of players are not Sarah's friend. Oh. Telling her that we're friends. But I mean... I just stayed silent. So, I guess that's neutral. Anyway, holy shit. What a f 
great first episode for the season. Lots of things happen. People dying and oh my god. So good. And it feels so good that we actually have something to look forward to now with the next episode. Whenever that one comes out. Anyway, as always I'm gonna shut up and we can enjoy this music. But until next time, take care and happy gaming. Bye bye. You feel that you should run But where are you too high In the water oh. Against the tide we struggle Skin wearing, skin wearing Against the tide we struggle To keep our heads above the deep the hearts above the line, above the line. We vow your life and blood. This is not our home in water. Oh, yeah, I hope he is never found. Just try and keep your way. Against the time we struggle, skin wearing, skin wearing. Against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the tea, and our hearts above the line, above the line. And who we are today can never. Tainted blood. In his eyes, his eyes are full of love. Forgive them, release them. Against the time we struggle, the skin wearing, the skin wearing. Against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep, and our hearts above the line, above the line.